You do have a 500 watt motor here and this one is fine. Again, I do like this smaller package that you get with this one, but dang, this thing will kick with that thousand watt motor. In this video, you are gonna get a complete review of both of these and I'm comparing these two models because they are so similar and you're probably doing the same comparison if you're looking for a folding fat tire e-bike. Let's jump right in. Okay, first, if you look at both of these, you're gonna see that they are about the same size. The seat itself is about you know, the same size. Although I will point out on the Tesco that the seat does almost hit this back basket here. Um, so if you have to have the seat a little bit lower, then it is gonna fit that back basket, which I believe is optional and it might be included right now as I'm recording this video. Now let's start with the gyro. What you get is in this fat tire folding e-bike. So on the left-hand side, you have these really nice hand grips that make it so nice to be able to hold and really comfortable to rest your hand on. So that kind of fits on your palm. I love these style uh, of hand grips. Now you have your monitor here, which we can turn on, and you also have a front headlight, which is great because, um, you know, rider safety. It does not, however, have the matching tail light. They just simply put a reflector here so they did not run wires back here for the tail light. Very simple display right here. You do have a horn, which is really loud, and your front brake on this side. Now on the other side, you do have a twist throttle, which does work from zero, your rear brake and your shifter. So you do have a pretty nice name brand shifter here, but uh, nothing to write home about at all. Now going down here, you can see that the neck of this does fold. So that way it can kind of fold in on itself, similar to the cinch that I've shown you guys before, it kind of folds in the same way. It's the same style in all these fat tire folding e-bikes aren't reinventing the wheel, they're all very similar. You do have a front suspension here and a rear suspension on this one. So really nice to see a dual suspension folding e-bike, folding fat tire e-bike rather. Here's your charge port, which very similar to my last video from Mod Bikes, I'm not able to keep this plug, it, it keeps falling out. So these like very cheap plugs that some of these manufacturers are using tend to fall out, um, especially the location of this one. Um, it just tends to fall out. Now this, as you can see here, is a cadence sensor, but plenty of room here to uh, pedal. You can see that there is nothing with the frame that is gonna get in your way, unlike what I'm gonna show you on the Tesco. So here's your rear suspension here, um, and you also have this nice rack. So you can store some stuff. This is a pretty flimsy rack, um, but I mean, it seems fine for, you know, holding a good amount of stuff. Here's a look from the other side. You can see the mechanism that does lock the folding part of this e-bike. A good look at the gears as well. And this pretty large rear hub motor. So overall build quality on this thing is pretty nice. It rides really smoothly as you'd expect with the front and rear suspension. Now jumping over here to the Tesco, I'm gonna point out a couple things. I've already mentioned the seat. Um, this seat is pretty decent. It's nothing to write home about, but it is missing something that the Tesco does have, which is this shock within the seat. So you do get some up and down travel in this more plush seat, but they did that because you're actually missing this rear suspension that the gyro has. So if we go to the controls of the Tesco e-bike, it looks very similar to the other one. They even have these like more premium, again, this just makes it so much more comfortable when you're resting your hand here and riding for a long period of time. You do have a throttle over here instead of the twist throttle on the gyro. And here's how we turn on the display. And it is a color display. So you do have a nicer display here. And having ridden both of these just recently, this Tesco is ridiculously fast. I mean, <laughs> it's got a ton of power. So front brake over here, you have your up and down so you can adjust the pedal assist or you can just work the throttle from zero, which it does work from zero. It gives you a nice reading of output and everything on the center display as well. So your headlight does come on here and you can see the headlight down here. 
You can see where the neck also folds, very similar to most of these folding e-bike designs. You have your front fork suspension, your headlight here. Both of these have fenders, but this Tesco one is definitely beefier in terms of like the thickness of the frame. And you can see how this frame kind of goes out into a Y and it's really inconvenient when you are pedaling because I found that my heels were constantly hitting this part of the frame that kind of bowed out in my opinion and it was just way, way too thick. You can see just how close the pedal is getting to where this frame is. So it was like, if you are if you have smaller feet and it's not like I have any huge feet, but if you have smaller feet, um, you probably won't have an issue. But for me, it was definitely like, Poor design flaw, they just made this way too thick. Now let's jump back up here to the handlebars. You can see just like the other just like the other e-bike, we have a nice hand grip, rear brake, and a shifter. So this shifter works a little bit different, but it's basically the same name branded shifter that everyone is using on their e-bikes now. Now this rear hub motor here you can see is hidden in here. And Man, this thing's got some juice definitely to propel you forward. You can see also how beefy this rear rack is, especially compared to the other fat tire e-bike over here. But this thing is so beefy. I also really like this rear tail light that it does include as well. So when you squeeze the brake, this red light also comes on, which is really nice touch. Overall, I mean, the build and everything is great. My only complaint is with this frame, how close it gets to where your pedal is. I mean, that's just really unfortunate and you can definitely tell when you are riding it. But even though I'm complaining about this pedal, why would you pedal when this motor is so powerful that it can propel you so quickly forward? Now, both of these e-bikes are a little heavy. This Tesco is definitely heavier than the Gyroar e-bike over there, but you can tell that just this frame is so beefy compared to how slender and slim that this frame is. Now the tires on these are the, about the same meatiness and I would think perform about the same. There is a little bit more meat on this Gyroar tire and I believe that these are uh, flat resistance or puncture resistant rather uh, tires on the Gyroar. So uh, another one up for the Gyroar. All right, one of the bigger things to point out is this Gyroar has a 500 watt motor here, whereas the Tesco has a thousand watt motor. So you get twice as much power from the Tesco, so you can definitely feel it, it's really noticeable. I'm about 200 pounds. This 500 watt is plenty. The Tesco thousand watt motor is just pure joy and awesome. So if you're looking for something with a fat tire and it has a ton of power, I mean a ton of power, I was able to get this well over 20 miles an hour because of this huge thousand watt motor. But I will say like most e-bikes, you do have a 500 watt motor here and this one is fine. Again, I do like this smaller package that you get with this one, but dang, this thing, will kick with that thousand watt motor, especially on this relatively light frame. I've tested a couple other e-bikes before with a thousand watt motor, but they were a big, huge, heavy frame, uh, you know, larger tires, big fat tires. And so it didn't feel as, um, you know, giddy up as this one does because it's, you know, a smaller frame and a, a lighter e-bike in general. But very impressed with the power output of this 1,000 watt motor on the Tesco versus the 500 watt motor on the Gyroar. Now, if I was gonna pick one of these personally, I would probably go with the Gyroar because if I'm buying a folding e-bike, I want a slimmer design. And for a fat tire folding e-bike, I think this Tesco one is just a little bit too beefy for me. Although if I was gonna buy a fat tire e-bike and I strictly wanted speed, I would definitely go with this Tesco e-bike because it is way faster than this gyro, especially like off the line, you just get way more torque and everything with that rear hub motor compared to the gyro. Both are great e-bikes in their own regard. I really hope this video was able to give you a lot of information about both these e-bikes to help you decide which one is right for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.